Thanks for purchasing your new Extended Life iPod battery from FastMac. First, lay out the battery and the tools provided. Then, make sure your iPod is turned off. Flip the hold switch until the orange indicator strip is visible. With the iPod in your hand, gently press down and to the left on the right edge of the top case with both thumbs, while moving the bottom case to the right with your fingers. This will create a small gap between the top and bottom case, allowing you to insert the pry tool. Slowly work the pry tool around the entire iPod, except for where the hold switch resides. You will feel the tabs holding the metal bottom case release. Lay the iPod on its face, then carefully remove the bottom casing and lay it over to one side. On second generation models, the white plastic surrounding the port on the top is attached to the back, so be very careful when removing the bottom case on this model. Push the EMI tabs aside and carefully lift the battery up. It might be difficult at first. There are adhesive strips that run along the bottom edges underneath the battery. Also on the second gen, there might be a third EMI tab that is attached to the battery itself. Disconnect the cable and set the battery aside. Ensure that the adhesive strips did not come off with the battery. If so, reattach them to the top of the hard drive. Peel back the adhesive strip nearest the battery connector. Take your new True Power battery out of its clear plastic packaging. Do not remove the gold wrapping. This is not packaging material. Attach the cable to the logic board connector. Be aware that sometimes the hard drive can spin up when you attach the battery, even though the hole switch is turned on. It is recommended that if this happens, shut the iPod down again by turning the hold switch off. Then press play until the iPod shuts down. Turn the hold switch back on. Place the adhesive strip back into place and lay the battery on top of the hard drive, taking care to tuck the excess cable away from the edge of the case. Reattach the bottom case, ensuring that there are no cables protruding. Press firmly on each edge, not in the middle, to close the iPod. Flip the hold switch and start your iPod. That's it. You're done.